वेलकम टू ऑल माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर रेशमु के मैस प्रेजेंटिंग द थेरी लेक्चर बेस्ट ऑन ट्राइबोलॉजी हैविंग यूनिट नंबर फाइव दैट इज कंपेरिजन ऑफ द ऑयल लोब्रिकेटेड एंड द गैस लोब्रिकेटेड बेरिंग what exactly the difference the the difference is what the the lubricant is being used whether it is oil lubricated oil is used or gas is used if that oil is used as a lubricant for the lubrication of bearing that is called oil lubricated while gas lubricated bearing gas is being used as a lubricant for the lubrication of the bearing so in detail we will see what exactly the comparative points for the comparisons of oil lubricated and gas lubricated bearing let's see one by one that is first that is uh, the lubricant or the substance which is used for the lubrication purpose so that is oil lubricated bearing used as oil as a lubricant while in the gas lubricated bearing that air is being used as a lubricant compressibility of lubricant is incompressible the oil lubricated bearing while this is a compressible in case of your gas is lubricant everybody knows that the liquid having the incompressible while gas having the compressible now again absolute viscosity of lubricant the absolute viscosity of lubricant is high in the case of the oil lubricated bearing while uh, the in gases it is extremely low gases i mean the very low uh, viscosity we can say the viscous resistance as a uh, viscosity is very high means what this viscous resistance is high in the case of the oil lubricated bearing while in the case of the gases as uh, the viscous viscosity is very less so it is having a very extremely low viscous resistance and overall coefficient of friction as the resistance is more viscosity is more obviously in the oil lubricated bearing that the overall coefficient of friction is high but uh, in the case of the oil lubricated bearing coefficient of friction is less viscosity is less so overall coefficient of friction is less now there is a frictional power loss frictional power loss and that of heat generations so in uh, oil lubricated bearing heat power loss is relatively high why because of that i mean the very uh, high density high viscous fluid are there okay therefore such bearing are effective in the cooling is required effective cooling is required for this kind of bearings okay again in the case of the gases friction power loss is very low hence heat generation temperature rise is low therefore in such a bearing the cooling is generally not required not required then again effect of temperature on viscosity that viscosity of lubricant decreases with increase in temperature everybody knows that while in this case the viscosity of lubricant increases with the increase in temperature okay these are the cases
then again effect of pressure on density density of lubricant considerable as a constant over the operating pressure range in a oil lubricated bearing the increase in the density of lubricant with increase in the pressure should be taken into account especially at a high speed in gases lubricated bearing the film thickness the film thickness is considerably a reasonable thick in the oil lubricated bearing while at the gases is very thin surface finish in oil lubricated bearing are can perform satisfactorily with the moderate surface finish but in this case due to the fluid film the gas lubricated bearing has extremely very fine surface and discard the pressure profile and that of your pattern flow now this is the last comparison points we can say that film thickness that effect of pressure on the density is very less now the stability of lubricant at any uh, liquid lubricant is stable only over a narrow range the liquid temperature cannot be used at the temperature above 350 degree and normally not suitable in the cryogenic temperature range so oil lubricated bearing bearing having the not suitable in the range above 350 degree that in a cryogenic temperature range but in the case of the gases it is having the highly stable over extremely wide range and the temperature from 250 degree to the 2000 degree celsius in the gas lubricated bearing can be used over the wide range of temperature now bearing material in oil lubricated bearing the bearing material can and the lubricant can selected such as a lubricant does not attack the bearing material so in a gases lubricated bearing the lubricant does not attack the bearing material and hence any bearing material can be selected so this is comparative point again there is operating speed the operating speed the oil lubricated bearing cannot be used at the very high speed but the gases lubricant in the wide range of speed starting from the static condition that is 5000 5 lakh rpm load carrying capacity of the oil lubricated bearing is very high but in the case of the gases lubricated bearing having the very low that of your shocks loads the oil lubricated bearing can take any loads and that of your fuel gas lubricated bearing cannot be take any shock load so this is comparative point for all these kind